Hi, Leo Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Leo. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a six card spread. I've already pre-shuffled. I will shuffle just a few more times here. You have the uh, judgment card that wanted to come through just as I was picking up the deck here. Um, this is a card of 20. I was kind of just sitting here looking at it, marinating on it. A light's being turned on. A light is being shined. I was getting Day of Reckoning, Awakenings, and with this being a card of 20, this is also the end of, it's coming towards the end of a cycle here, with it being right before the World card, which is a card of 21, and the last card of the Major Arcana. This 20 also breaks down to a 2. So with that, I'm also getting there being partnerships that are coming into fruition. People that have planted good seeds, reaping what they've been sowing. People that have been planting bad seeds, reaping what they have been sowing. sitting here oh here's another one and this was in reverse i'm gonna take that because i'm feeling that energy for you i do feel that this is about overcoming and a part of that judgment that wanted to come through this so card of 15 it's the energy of capricorn capricorn being ruled by saturn getting over toxicity removing oneself from something that does not serve I was just getting ready to say, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at my Hot Wheels. This one was wanting to stick out here. It's got the number twos on it here. It's a tuned car. We'll just keep that there. Um, but yeah, this being a six overall, a situation that had no love. Leo Moons. I've got, um, this might be sick. I'm just, I'm drawn to my cards right now. This may be significant for you. I'm just going to bring them all over. They probably won't all fit <laughs> on here. Let's see. I've got so many. These are all my cards. <laughs> And then I've also got, let's see, too, the John Deere tractor. Um, some of you may be collectors, heavy collectors. You may love cars. You may have a lot of cars. That's what I'm getting. You may like to car race as well. That's always fun. Some good Fast and Furious fans here. That's pretty dope. That wanted to come through strongly. I don't know. I just was really drawn to these cars. They've been sitting here for a few weeks here, too, because I still have to put them up with the rest of my collection. But, um, yeah, that was interesting. Take, uh, take that however that may resonate for you. I love those cars, too. Those are some pretty badass cars that I've got there. We're going to move this out. So for your first card, we have the Ace of Cups. So there's that energy of there being no love. I do feel that this is kind of telling the story of where it is that you're coming from. 
Cup says water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a few gifts. This could be about some selfishness here too. There being no delicacy. Um, getting Libra energy, but it being on the opposite side of the scale when it comes to Libra. Where you may have been connecting with someone who was choosing to be more on um, a basis of not having integrity. You may love coffee. Uh, but yeah, definitely getting there being no love in a situation. I'm also getting the energy of a home feel and something not feeling that way for you. There being no security or safety in a situation. Your second card. We have the sun in reverse. This is darkness. So no light. A card of 19. Um, with this, I do feel you dealing with this. This is something that uh, may have been hidden, suppressed, where you may have been feeling oppressed. With this being your ruler here, I do feel that it's kind of related to working on some darkness, related to your moon energy, and really having to face particular people, situations, or fears. Speaking one's truth, as I say that, I'm seeing the blue energy and that being connected to the throat chakra and the connection of the antennas here to the sun. That sun may be very significant um, as far as how it looks for you. Uh, like <laughs> I'm seeing it as a donut. But I'm also seeing eggs. Like I'm, if food is coming through here. So some shadow work that may possibly be related to, um, you know, with there being a uh, lack of emotion here, possibly um, using food as a vice for some of you in the midst of like, I'm getting also a hermit energy, seeing that nine connected to the 19. And the Hermit card being a card of nine in the Major Arcana. So yeah, definitely um, with you being Leo Moon, I just feel that this is about your energy here. And what it is that you've dealt with that may have been um, something that you were suppressing. And this just being related to your Leo Moon energy. And how it is that one feels. Um, with the Sun energy, there being strong father strong masculine energy and representation of that and um, getting away from that and having to work on that. And there being um, like courage, having the courage to step up to something here and face something and really work through it, working through the darkness. So it's being dark night of the soul Possibly a lot of you going through this experience here. And this being in order to get to a higher level. I'm seeing crystal grid energy here too. So that just kind of speaking to that higher level of energy and ascending. After going through a particular experience, what you've experienced just made you stronger. Your third card. This also, I want to mention, um, breaks down to a 10, which breaks down to a 1. 10s being about endings, but also being more of that Capricorn energy. Connected, um, going back to that devil card in reverse. So that speaking to the connection here of that darkness and working through this. Eight of Swords, reversed. So I'm just getting there being a release and this being about the work here. No longer being stuck or feeling stuck or suppressed. Working through that darkness and now there being that uh, release here after working on that throat chakra energy. Six of swords, I am seeing that being a part of the moving away with the three swords here. Moving away from choppy waters 
and more towards calmer waters. Two of Swords, I'm seeing this as being um, not about the Two of Swords, but I see one sword coming from you and one sword coming from another. So as you're doing this and releasing yourself from a situation where there was no love or emotional fulfillment, you're moving into a new foundation here. For some of you, it's someone else. Others of you, this is about the balance between oneself of masculine and feminine and a meeting of the minds and there being balance within you overall after moving away from what does not serve. You being safe and protected here too, I feel that this is a guided path here that I'm seeing that was made from those six swords here on each side. Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Eights are prosperity. So this is, again, I'm just getting you moving away from what does not serve towards what does serve you. And as you're doing this, um, congratulate yourself for making this, making it through to reach even greater and it being connected to greater prosperity. All right, eights are also scorpionic energy. The 8th month of August, um, which is what we're in right now, could be significant for you here too as well. Your fourth card. We have the world card. All right. So I do have the energy of a actual ending here. This is that card that comes after the judgment. Being a card of 21, breaking down to a three. So I feel that a lot of you have been strong in Empress energy. This also being about working together with others, being supported by others here to help you to bring about a significant ending where there was a lot of pain and a lot of hurt. But it helped you to work through, like being in the darkness helped you to want to find the light from within yourself here. Because you, again, may have gotten away from that by being connected to a situation where there was no love being offered here. For some reason, this continues to want to come through a strong Aquarius energy that could be significant for you. Acorns are uh, also very abundant. So who it is that you were connecting to that may be a part of the situation where there was no love. Uh, a due energy of abundance that did not come through for you because there was. I'm getting with that acorn, seeing this in front of a diamond, more focus on self and materialism and it being connected to that ace of cup in reverse there too and the selfishness energy that wanted to come through. But there being an ending here to this, you have closed successfully a karmic cycle. I do feel here too that the other party is accepting of this as well. And that being even more of success here. So with me saying that, I feel that the action with the cycle closing is about the movement related to the cars that wanted to come through and the amount of cars that could speak to the speed of things that are going to take place for you as um, cycles are closing here and new beginnings are taking uh, shape here for you after you working through some darkness successfully here to find your way out your fifth card we have the Ten of Swords, yeah. It's that painful goo stuff. It's that choppy water energy and a part of that darkness, finding your way through, getting away from yourself, but in speaking truth and no longer suppressing. And that suppression being that goo and that darkness and just sitting in all of that, releasing all of this because it's been painful. And so with this and this ending here with this Ten and the Sword energy here, this may be also to what is being brought about when it comes to um, the other party or parties that you have left behind in order to move on. I do feel it was more painful for you seeing that green energy and the swords going through that green ribbon. I'm also seeing, um, you know, not every sword not going through. There being three particular swords here. So a three of swords situation. And with it being third party, I just feel that this is about a new connection that's come about for you 
as a reward for working through this darkness here to get away from what was uh, lacking emotional fulfillment. It being painful, there being a great amount of love here, unconditional love here too, but um, it not being shared. With that Libra energy, I'm just getting that heavy imbalance of a particular person that you were connecting to. You possibly being full of love and that being about that shadow work for you there too. And not giving your love away. Again, towards is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see what your sixth card is. You have a new beginning here. Having learned lessons here from a situation, that being a part of that dark night of the soul, and why we experience that in order to ascend and get to a higher level. We have the lovers in reverse. So with this six energy, and this also being uh, very similar to that devil card in reverse, I'm getting a close alignment here to this. of a situation that is no longer making a choice to end something that was toxic and that being connected here to that release being able to move away from what does not serve with the six swords here but this being eight of sword and no longer being stuck in a connection here that may have been toxic um with the seahorse energy it could have been something that you know was a two of cup energy But then it being more of a six of cup energy where it was more about a soulmate energy and lessons to be learned from that situation and something not meant to last. Still having unconditional love overall with that six energy being there. Again, I'm just getting it being very much connected to what's being released with that devil energy in reverse there with the devil being one in five, 15, six, and we have six here. This is also energy of Gemini as well. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah, we have uh, justice in reverse. What's taken place has been a part of some um, injustice here. And so I do feel that with this Ten of Sword and the ending and new beginning and then the motion of moving away and then the quick action of what's coming through with that car energy now that something is coming to a close here. Uh, this overall situation that helped propel you was due to some injustice here. 11 energy being the two energy, breaking down to a two and going back to that judgment and the day of reckoning, reaping what one has been sowing. If there's been any injustice, it's, uh, it's being um, corrected by the universe. All right, so Leo Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Continue to shine and shine bright. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.